wants you guys to leave on the trespass property. Why, why? Uh, We're not trespassing. We bought the foot here, we didn't have to put here. How's that trespass? Private property? They want it's to not leave. private, it's public. It's why, public do they want want it's why, why do they want us to leave? Yes. That means you have access to it with permission. Come up the private property. I bought the foot and I'm going to trespass. You're breaking the law. Let's see, that's your first Here's the thing. Okay, Dorman's going to show you I'm going to show you the law. You want to see the law? We're going to show you the law. We've got the law right here. You want to see the law? You guys don't want to leave, you'll be escorted off the property. Let me ask you something. Why are they asking us to leave? Why are you guys asking us to leave? Why? Why are you asking yeah, us to leave? Why? Why? That's the question. They promote segregation. That's why. Let them speak. Let them speak. Why? There's a new procedure. Procedure is not a law. Let them hear them out. Hear them out. Hear them out. It says you have to have your vaccination passport be seated to eat on private property. Okay. Right? That's why. Do you understand that you have absolutely no right? Do you want to quote this here? Go ahead. Yes. So yes. under the law, you cannot which call law? us. Which law? It's right here. We have it all right here. Right here. I've got all the laws right here. Yeah. So we've got one, the Immunization Act of 1997 that says that in Canada you cannot mandate vaccinations anywhere in Canada. Does that supersede the Trespass Property Act? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It's a federal law. It 100% does. It's a law. It's not an act. It, it's, a, it's a law that all laws must adhere to this and you cannot mandate vaccinations. Based on what though? Based on, based, hold on. Hold yeah, on. he's doing it. He's doing it. Right? it. Okay. Are you banning them based on a rule that the law has for access? Yes. yes. Have the oh, you answer the board? You're answering the board? You're answering the board? Don't put the words in his mouth. So the Trespass and Property Act dictates that... Okay, let, let me show that. Hold on, hold on, we hold have, on. Okay, we have that here as well. The Trespass and Property Act dictates that him has the right to tell you to leave. Okay. And if you don't leave... Mm -hmm. Okay, can I show you the Trespass and Property Act? From the property. Can I show you the Trespass and Property Act? We have a reader. I will. The Trespass and Property Act, section number two, states as long as you're in there taking part in the business that they advertise, you are not trespassing. It does. Yes, I have it right here. One hundred percent it does. It's right here. We are not in here causing a nuisance. We came in, we bought food, right, we're sure. sitting at a table sure. eating our food. Based we're not causing a nuisance. We're not being belligerent. We're not stealing. We're not doing anything against the law besides sitting down eating the food that we purchased that they sold to us. So we are 100% within the law, Trespass Act, section number two. We are not causing a nuisance. We are doing what everybody else. I'm trying to find it. You know where it is. You put this together. No, it's in here somewhere. I think so you may have passed it. What we're trying to do right now is educate the officers as to what the laws are because they're questioning whether their take on the laws is I think you passed it. Oh, what's that one? Okay, that's the reopening act, so it's after this. Coming up here, guys. Right here, trust back to property act. So right here, section number two. We are not trespassing because we are taking part in an activity that is allowed. They yeah, advertise the right of authority and the right of authority. His authority. No, 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 he doesn't have the authority to mandate every person, vaccination. Every person who is acting under a right. So I have a right. Not, not to show referring him. to you, they're referring to him. No, no, no. no they're referring to us. Every person. I'm a person who is not acting under a right or authority will be trespassing. I am acting under a right. He has no right to take to ask me for my vaccine history. It's against the it's law. It's against the, the law. law. Three day, three day. Yeah. Without yeah. the express permission of the employer, the the, he has the, the proof of which of rests on the defendant. He has the express Age in an activity the on the premises when the activity is prohibited. Yes, the activity which, you're doing is prohibited. No, it's, it's, not. Not. it's not. Eating activity, food that we bought here. Rules. Eating they food. They don't get to make rules. They don't, they don't get to policy yeah, outside of the law. On top of that, on top of that, we've got the Ontario Health and Privacy Act that says he has no or right to, to ask us what our personal medical history is. That is a law. Under the Immunization Act of Canada, he has no right to ask us to be vaccinated in order to come here. Under the law, we have the right to come and purchase the food that they've advertised for us to purchase and eat and it here. Follow their rules. And you They'll cannot and they you cannot policy, policy outside the law. Outside the law. Outside that is law. very, very clear. The government knows right now that they can't force force vaccinate us all. Yeah. So and that's why they're not doing it. They're thinking that they can do it. They're telling you to have a vaccine policy. Uh -huh. They're tricking them into do it. Exactly. It's discrimination under the human rights code.
and they have no right to do it. Under the Privacy Act, they have no right to ask for our medical history. Personal Health Information Protection Act. Sure, 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 I've got all the laws right here that they are breaking. In fact, you should be charging them for breaking the laws. Harassment and uttering threats. Well, I'm clear. Under the criminal code, they have that. United States in history. How do you feel about segregation of Jews yeah. in Germany? How do you feel about that segregation? Officer Langford, how do you feel about segregation? Brother, this how do you feel about segregation? Uh, no, I'm clear. Well, you're here. No, but you're, you're here and you're... No, but I'm asking your opinion. And I'm telling you, I'm not here to debate. It's not a debate, that's a question. You can ask it. No, I'm clear, but I'm just curious. How do you feel about segregation? It's my job. It's my job. If they have a policy saying... If they have a policy saying no black people... People can come in here. Are you going to enforce that policy? Laws that they are breaking. They are breaking these laws. But he said he's going to. You know that. You're a police officer. You know that. No, we're not, we're not, not breaking a law. the law. Nine day is not a law. It's not a trespass. It's not bullshit, man. We, it we is not a trespass when you're here. Exactly. No when you are here taking asset. part in the activity that they specifically advertise, that is not trespassing. We came in, we, so we bought food, and we sat down. How do you feel about harassing second-class citizens? How do you feel about harassing second-class citizens? How do you feel about harassing second-class citizens? So we have Officer Chan and Officer Langford here. You just saw your history, Officer Langford. I wonder if they go to Queen's Park after. And by the way, everyone who's been quiet here is you complying with this. I have no problem asking for identification for a human rights complaint and for criminal code charges to be pressed on every security person here that is breaking the law. Under the criminal code, this is uttering threats and this is harassment under the criminal code. And under the Ontario Health and Privacy Act, you have no right to ask me for my medical status at all. It's against the law. And, and under the Immunization Act, you cannot demand that I be immunized for any goods or service or contract. It is against the law. You are breaking the law. The government did not mandate this because they don't want to be in, be held liable. Exactly. And that's why the government didn't do it. That's why they're tricking businesses into doing it. But the businesses become liable. Under the criminal code, under the human rights code, and under civil action, you guys become liable for breaking the law. And I've got the laws right here for you to read. I have no problem sharing the laws with you. Our job is to educate everybody so that everybody is not discriminated against nor segregated against. You have the right not to be discriminated against based on your health situation. It's the law. It's the law. And we're all being lawful here. We paid for our food. We didn't steal it. We paid for it. And now we're sitting down where we bought it to eat it. That is that is perfectly legal to do. Right now it has to do with a uh, you know some kind of permit that you have to some kind of drug. What about the next one? When it's a permit that you have to do something that you really don't agree with. We are doing our best to stand in our square and educate. A lot of people don't understand the law, and, th and that's okay, but we need to educate people what the law is and what their rights are. So we will do this. Not sure what they're going to do. They're, they're discussing it. Oh, are they waiting for? I thought this gentleman in the in the suit was a supervisor. Freedom from discrimination. Every person has a right to equal treatment with respect to services, goods, and facilities. Okay, so they're waiting for the police supervisor. Let's just see. We're doing our best to stand in our square and educate folks. Color, ethnic origin, citizenship, creed. We are doing our best. I think they're starting to wonder if, if perhaps we are right because they haven't arrested us and they haven't dragged us out yet. I'll, I think they're starting to question whether we're right or not because they haven't arrested us and they haven't dragged us out yet. So uh, they're, they're looking for clarification from their supervisor, but we have the law on our side. The law is on our side. And if this goes bad for us, we get their names, badge numbers, and the name of every security person, That's and we right. charge them under the criminal code, 100%. we make a human yeah. rights complaint, and we take civil action against them, because that is our right yeah. under the law, and the law is on our side. That's right.
person. Yeah, they they the person. Yeah, you have, yes, you can't sue the establishment. You have to sue the individual that is uh, harassing you, the individual who is stomping on your rights. So it would be every single one of these people that are here individually. And under the Police Services Act, the police are to uphold the law and protect citizens. And when they don't uphold the law and protect citizens, guess what? Their liability insurance does not kick in and protect them. And now they have to defend themselves on their own dime, not under their benefit plan, because it will not cover them for breaking the law. And there's a precedent in, in Montreal, I think, in Quebec. A president in Montreal? Pre precedent, precedent being said that I think the police, I think transit police, is personally liable and actually have to pay the damages to somebody that they harass or and then they might even them for that. That's awesome. So we have a precedent in this country. Exactly. Where personally somebody was sued. And, and there's many court cases that are on, on the books that have set precedents. Yeah. So, so yeah. thank you, thank you, Jody. You're welcome. welcome. So much. You're welcome. We're doing our best to educate yeah. and show everybody what to do. Stand yeah, we, in your square. Don't be afraid. We're here to impact and empower the people. This is, by the way, officer. This is the opportunity to do we do need the police on our side, so we need to educate each and every single one. Know your rights, protect your rights, or you'll lose your rights. And you guys hear that millions and billions of times. But you guys start sharing that to the people out there, the sleeping lions especially. Yeah, yeah. we're not doing Thank anything wrong. We're here our rights. We're not we, causing a disturbance. No, we're eating the food. No, we, we, we bought food at the mall, the in way, the food court. We're sitting way, down uh, eating Jim, our food. We did Jim nothing. Was gonna start, he was hungry. This guy is always hungry. I love him. I love him. <laughs> Thank you so much. So he started eating the food in front of the counter where we bought the food. And the security lady came in and like, oh, you're not allowed to eat here. You only can eat here. I'm giving you any information of him having any permission from the police to carry up in March here. He was not going on, and let me finish. Let me finish. And I want you to hear from me, because I am the police authority here. You did not get any permission to carry out any march or any gathering. You did not get any permission to carry out any gathering. You did not get any permission to carry out any gathering. You did not get You know that this gathering is illegal and unlawful. He is not to be to to be Wow. 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 Wow.